What's up, people? We're going to do an unboxing video here. And um, I think you're going to like this. So we're going to unbox Beowulf by King Post Games. Uh, and if you know King Post Games, you know this game, Moby Dick. Now, I bought this game... Uh, at the 20 sided store in Brooklyn and uh, I bought it on the cards alone and I never did an unboxing or a review of Moby Dick the card game but I will tell you now it's one of the most beautiful sets on earth it's gorgeous the only thing is and I'll say this straight up it's not a game I swear to God it's more of like a simulator you don't really um, I don't know, you play with a bunch of friends, and you are competitive, but at the same time, you know kind of where it's going to go. <clears throat> so, it's fun. I like it. I love the art. Even the box art's unbelievable. I mean, look at this. There's like, there's quotes that go on the, microscopic quotes that go around the edge. It's beautiful. It's a work of art. So, when I heard they were making a new game, I was way excited and alas, this came out. I saw it in the 20 side store and I bought it right away. So I'm going to unbox it right now. Hopefully the battery doesn't wear out. Let's do this quick. Take the plastic off. And um, the cover alone, again, very tasteful, very nice. Um, it, it feels heavy. And the paper on the cardboard or on the uh, box, it's, it's the nice kind of paper. So here we go. Let's open this up and see. All right. We'll put this over here like this. Okay. Boom. Rule book. Now the rules to Moby Dick were not easy to read. Uh, they were. It was a little confusing, I'll say. But uh, hopefully they got better at writing the rules. And it's a really nice... From what I can see, it looks pretty darn organized. Um, and it shows the turn sequences. All right, it looks cool. It looks nice. Now we get into the meat. I see one token made of, it looks like wood. Now the other game, Moby Dick, had wooden pieces and special dice. This one has one wooden token, and I'm guessing that's the Beowulf token. I think that's Beowulf. It's got two te uh, a 10-sided die, a D6 with numbers, not dots, and a D4. Love D4s. Don't get to use them much anymore. We've got car. Oh, we've got extra bags. We've got cards, which I'll open. We've got a board. Now, I didn't kickstart this. I did see they were doing hand card stuff for these boards. The board's really nice. It looks a little too busy. Uh, the quality's decent. It's pretty thick cardboard. So... Yeah, it's, it's like um, Flying Frog kind of feel with uh, some of their games. It's thick, not too thick, and the picture looks cool. Uh, now I see a buttload of tokens. These are not wood tokens like in Moby Dick. These are cardboard. These look like coins, 100, 500, 100 red coins, and 500 red coins. So it's hundreds and 500s. And uh, pr standard, nothing special. But what I want to see are the cards, because they are famous for their artwork. So let's bust open the cards. Um, they have this velvety feel, the last set, from Moby Dick, and I want to see if these are the same. I think they are. They do feel similar. Eh, maybe a little different. These are more like regular cards. I'm going to open Moby Dick and see. All right, so the picture on the back is gorgeous. These have runes. All right, the, the pictures on the fronts of these aren't so fancy, but I have a funny feeling one of these decks has... Oh, look at this. Okay. Hold on. These ones look cool. Mm. I wish I had a better system for opening cards. Oh, here it is. Here's the edge. Sorry. All right, here we go. Now, I've had this game in my possession for, like, a week, and I haven't opened it because I wanted to do this unboxing, because it's way more fun to see. Oh, damn! Look at that. Beautiful artwork. And the pictures, I mean, they're all kind of different. 
Oh, look, look, oh my god, look at that. Oh, look at that. I think that's one of the frost giants. These are great. These are all the monsters. Oh, look at the sea troll. All right, there are art rules. Oh, f look at this. Sometimes you got to stop and say, would you look at that? I mean, that's beautiful. Simple and good. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. The ancient barrow. Really pretty artwork. Well done. Cardstock's standard cardstock. This isn't... It's not too thick nor too thin. I always smell cards because they all smell different. The Moby Dick cards, if I remember correctly, are different. I'm just curious. These probably cost more. Oh, yeah. Way different. These have a very linen finish. They have that linen finish on them. Now, I will say... I love that they came with boxes, the Moby Dick ones, but it's unnecessary. These don't have boxes. Um, yeah. So let's see. So far, I'm, I'm, I'm impressed. Not a lot of components. More runes. I don't know what any of this stuff is. So there's three packets of cards. Yeah, all right. So just on package alone... This is pretty good. I'm from a 1 to 10. I'm not giving it a 10. I'll give it a 10 on the artistic merit note. Maybe the board. I'm not so into this board. It's a little busy. But it has to be maybe for the game. The cards are beautiful. The rule book looks pretty slick. I don't know. I can't wait to try this out. Um, I have no idea what the gameplay is. I know it's a three-person game. It's, um, we'll see. I'm going to give it a shot. So, folks, this is King Post Games' Beowulf. Um, I love their... I, can, I hope they do another one. I like their games. So, let's see if this one plays good. I'm guessing it's pretty fun. Um, I did remember... Plastic in my mouth. I did remember seeing a, a short playthrough video when they had the Kickstarter, and it looked pretty cool. It looked like it played a little bit like Moby Dick. It's kind of like a simulator feel more than a game feel. Um, which is totally cool. Very different, very unique. So, thanks for watching. I'm Cardone. I play a lot of games, and uh, I like sharing them with you. So, party on, Wayne. I'll see you in the hood.